Oh. Did you get that? Yeah. Oh. oh no, something's gone wrong. Hello, welcome to Project Air this week. Um, I'm James, that's Mike behind the camera. Today what we're doing is trying to test the Ekrano plane. So we tested it last week. I built this thing and we tested it in the field. I'm pretty excited, but I'm really apprehensive as well because I don't want it to crash or just not work and be a complete waste of time. So yeah, let's go to the lake. Let's put it on the lake and see what happens. We're here now, we're at the lake. Um, there's a bit of a stream next to us, so sorry if you, uh, you're you getting deafened by that and you can't hear me. Yeah, let's talk about this, uh, the modifications made to this since the last episode. So we've got um, basically these floats here, which uh, sort of are gonna help it get out of the water, but also our pocket of air can get trapped underneath here. So it'll be more efficient where it's flying along. And then we've got the uh, EDF on the back still. Um, we've got uh, the tilt mechanism that actually works with the elevator now so this elevator on the back so both of them go up together what we're going to do now is just have a quick cup of tea and then we're going to go and see if it works Power this thing on. Yeah, we're duct tape all those together. Yeah. Thank you to Marcus Rule. I think I forgot to put your name down below uh, last last time, so I'm so sorry about that. And that yeah, comment of a week goes to you this week. So thank you for supplying these motors. Uh, I'm sorry I forgot to put your name on the last video. <laughs> uh, one thing, one thing that I'm thinking is not going to work on this is that when I was building these floats, they're angled uh, sort of like that because I wanted them to sort of rise up out of the water. But unfortunately, I think it's putting the nose at too much of a downward angle and this fan at the back is just driving the nose forward. So uh, I think what we're gonna do now is just run up the motors, tilt this forwards on the elevator and see if we can get it to sort of pop into the air. So once I finish my tea. Engine engaged. That's promising. That's promising. Yes. Sketch factor analysis. I'd say this has probably got a five out of 10 chance of actually getting airborne and working properly. So let's see what happens um, when we put it in. So let's do it. I'm hoping that yeah. it doesn't just nose forward. Do you know what I mean? It's floating. Oh, oh, okay. oh come back, come back. Let's uh, just try and head it that way, and then if it if it should get blown back towards that bank over there if, if it goes wrong. Oh. Working like a plane, anyway. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Something's gone wrong. The engines are going. Keep wa keep watching it. The engines are stuck on. Uh, I've not got any control of it anymore. The engine's off, but it's still running. It's, it's turning back this way. Is it? Okay. Here's the situation. We've we've lost contr all control of the of the Ekrano plan, and it is now going out of control on the lake. Um, very slowly. Very actually. slowly, but still, it's a bit worrying. Well, it's not moving very fast at all, so... No. I wonder if it's one of the engines is stuck on. It's definitely coming this way. The wind's coming this way, so it should slowly drift into this bank over there. We could be here for a couple of hours. Um, not really what we expected. We are taking this quite seriously, because obviously it's out of control. But thankfully it is just on the water, so... Um, 
and it's kind of just staying in a circle so that's good um, but yeah Mike's just going up there to have a better look and take the camera so I'll give you over to him now oh he's run off Oi! I just said to the camera Mike's going up there he's going to take you up there now oh wait <laughs> okay Oh, it's stopped. Well, that's, that's quite good, it's stopped. I think that now we know that it's not going to go out of control anywhere. The good news was before that even though it was like the engine stuck on, it's not like it was going to, it would just be out of control and smash into the water if anything, if it took off. So it is, think, look, that one end is actually submerged. I think here, left side. that left side there, that's actually submerged. Isn't oh, it? yeah. So here we go, sun's going down now. <laughs> Let's have a look. So the receiver, that doesn't, didn't, didn't get wet. I think that maybe it was these, the ESCs under here. I did waterproof them, but they got, I don't know, maybe they weren't, <laughs> they weren't waterproof enough. That's pretty uh, pretty annoying, because we only got one, one run done. So I'm sorry about that. I hope it wasn't hyped up too much. But that first run was really good. It did seem to, get off the ground. I don't know, it was kind of ground fake, kind of not. Maybe we should do another project like this. Look at the wing! <laughs> oh my god. It's, it's just full of water, that pod. And you know what this calls for, Mike? A cup of tea. Mm. So, didn't really work as planned. Sorry, it, again, if it was a bit of an underwhelming project, but um, yeah, we'll do some more stuff like this. Let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments down below. Um, and we shall do more stuff, we'll try some more crazy things. Also tell me um, if you prefer these kind of epic projects or if you want to see me making more stuff that you can make as well. In hindsight, I still think this was worth it. It's a good fun project and yeah, should definitely make some kind of like snow sled or something at Christmas. So yeah, tune in for that. What do you think Mike? How did you think the project went? I think it went swimmingly. Thank you very much for watching and if you did like this video then drop it a like and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See you later. This thing is massive. Hang on. Just bear with me a second. Okay. Oh. I've got it stuck. <laughs>